Hi guys, it's Mary. I'm the Frugal Chef. Hey, I want to make some chili with some black-eyed peas tonight. We're going to put some chipotle peppers in it, and we're going to put some sweet potatoes in it. This is really good stuff. Let's make it. I have a pound of ground beef here. I'm just going to brown it and drain it and set it aside. I added a little bit of oil to this. Now I'm going to cook a large yellow onion, which I, you know, finely chopped as you can see. We're going to cook this for about 8 minutes until it's nice and soft and translucent. This has been cooking for about 8 minutes and I added two large garlic cloves to this, which I minced. Let that cook for a couple minutes. I made a little well in the middle here. I'm just going to add a little bit of, of uh, oil in there. I'm going to add two tablespoons of chili powder and half a tablespoon of ground cumin. Just going to mix this. Let it cook for a bit. I'm now going to add a large chipotle pepper in its adobo, which I chopped, and mix that. I'll let this cook for a minute. You know, I want to start smelling that chili. going to add four large tomatoes which I peeled and chopped. I'm going to let those cook for four or five minutes and I'll be back. I'm going to return the beef to this. I added two 15 ounce cans of uh, black peas to this. And now I'm going to add about a cup of diced sweet potatoes. You know, this was about three small ones. I added the liquid with the, with the black eyed peas. I'm going to add about a cup of chicken stock to this. I'm going to season this with salt and some black pepper. I'm going to mix this. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to cover it, reduce the heat and let it simmer for about an hour and then our chili will be done. This is cooked my friends. It simmered for an hour. I tasted it for salt. It needed a little bit so I adjusted the seasoning. It's really really tasty. As you saw this was really simple. It has that kick from the chipotle uh, pepper but the sweet potato really mellows it down. I hope you give this a try. It's really good stuff. I'm going to serve this with some cornbread on the side and a dollop of sour cream. Bon appetit my friends from thefrugalchef.com. I don't know if you're aware of this but all of our recipes are um, on the website for you to go and print. So you don't have to be writing down ingredients. Just go to the website and print it. <laughs> Eat well my friends without going broke. If you could rate and comment that would be just awesome. I will see you guys soon.